What is going on guys? Pro player after here back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be showing you guys the best AK-74U class setup. Pro players have been using this gun non-stop and the, these attachments specifically it's what makes it the best SMG over the MP5. So we're going to go over the class really briefly and then we're going to head into some gameplay. So for the muzzle, I'm rocking the muzzle break. Vertical recoil control is a lot easier than horizontal. If you put the spet nas, you lose even more horizontal. So that's why I like the muzzle break. For the, for the, uh, the barrel, we're going to be running a task force. Now this gives you a lot of damage range and it's really really effective and this is one of the attachments that makes the 74u even more broken than it already is now the negatives it, it does give you a negative recoil control so that's where you have to be concerned a little bit for the for the underbarrel when you're running the spat nas grip you could run the speed grip they're both really good i'd like to run both of them sometimes depending on the map um, but obviously this good uh, boost and recoil control really helps a ton for the handle we got the elastic wrap very good especially for range gunfights because the flinch resistance and you get that boost in ads and for the stock we're gonna run a skeletal stock now i know you're thinking apathy it lowers down your hip fire it does but the 10 percent in aim walking movement speed is pretty nice i honestly barely ever hit fire in this game i either like snapping on people or i'm premium this is the way the game works so the aim walking movement speed is pretty nice if you were to ask me what's the difference between the mp5 and 70 for you well I'll be honest, up close, they're both about the same, like, same thing. Like, they both are really nasty up close. Like, they're both good, you know? But the thing is, with the 74U, it's easier to beam people with range. And it doesn't always matter if, like, you can kill people quicker with a certain gun if you can't shoot it far enough, right? This guy's a ninja, man. Absolute, absolute ninja, man. Absolute. Dang, 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 dang. So you see right there, well, I'm probably dead, but you see how I can beam those kids up fairly easy. Um, with MP5, I might have got one of these guys traded right away. And that's like something that's really big with MP5. You. Damn, this guy with his bison, bro. So don't get me wrong, the MP5 is still viable. It's still a good gun, but the for you just has that little bit of range and just that damage that helps it be a little bit better. Look at that. Look at that nice little sexy two-piece, man. It's kind of UAV right now. Oh, this guy's gonna reach out, gonna collect it. Got your trade. Oh my god, it's the, they got the low spawn here. I'm gonna hit the stim shot. I think one's already under us. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Here's the guy here, though. Kill, finish that kill off. Good try. A for effort. I'm gonna spawn back here. I'm a maniac. I'm a maniac. Man, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you thought you were gonna M16 me again, didn't you, punk? Oh, joke's on you. You can M16. Shit. Now I'm gonna three piece your teammates and laugh at you. Ha 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 ha. Where's your M16? Now? Oh my God, it's an M16. Oh, oh, I really... No, I would have two piece in my near stop shooting probably. It's funny because, like, I, I say this all the time, but it's so true. The 74U is literally one of my favorite guns of all time. Like, this gun is just awesome, man. I'm a fan of the AK. It's a mini version of the AK. I'm a big submachine gun fan. And, you know, it's basically what it is. It's a mini submachine gun or mini AK. It's a submachine gun AK, uh, so to speak. Oh, my God. There's so many of them here. I knew I was going to be able to get more than one. What does this guy think he's doing? Oh, mother trucker. Nice little nade right here. I don't know what's happening because I'm getting counter spy plane. God, this counter spy plane. Like, I get annoyed with counter spy planes more than other stuff. Like, as ironically as that sounds, like. You can throw a you can throw a damn like freaking chopper gunner, bro. Like when there's a counter spy plane that's negating my radar, like it's so annoying for me. This is my house. My house. Oh, yeah, flag. No longer my house, but it's my house. Oh. Oh, lordy. He got hit with the movement. Oh, you're gonna spawn here, though. I'm going rogue. RXD. Oh, you're gonna get me killed. Wait, where is this guy? Okay, where is this guy that I don't know? No, dude. Every time I stop shooting. Now, the funny thing is, guys, I have made. You know, I've, I have some done, done some testings with this uh, class and like kind of seeing why it's a lot better and like the damage and like the range and all these things. And basically, dude, they just keep nading me, dude. It's so annoying. Uh, basically, my conclusion is like 
this attachment actually helps a lot especially with range basically to break it down to you guys um one important thing about this attachment is Enemy it gives you 50 percent effective damage range right that is something this attachment does 50 percent damage range it's a, that's a nice boost uh the second highest All attachment that could give you that type of damage is 25 percent but it doesn't give you any bullet velocity or actual damage to the weapon the damage to the weapon only helps the most mo uh, headshot multiplier but none of that stuff so basically what the 50 percent does it increases your 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 four bullet range to kill and your five bullet range to kill but the important thing is like it increases both of them and even the four bullet it goes from like a seven point um i think six to like an 11.4 so basically your four shot kill goes up by four meters and your five your five shot kill goes up by five meters so to give you a quick an example okay we can use this this is about its four bullet kill range as you can see that's not that far but the task force barrel the task force barrel makes it about this far now that's a pretty huge difference that four meters that adds to the four shot range and then the five shot range which it has um it's, it adds another about five meters so it basically makes the kill range um better and it's a big factor you see like oh my god i'm getting a lot of four All shot kills in these challenges in these gunfights and four shot honestly honestly bro if you know call of duty or anything about time to kill you want your gun to kill the fastest possible like having a fast killing gun is number to, number one uno number two uno. Oh, that would be nice so basically to sum it up task force is a little bit more to use sometimes because of the, the, the repo it adds but at the end of the day it is worth it the task force is really effective it's really good on this gun and it's an attachment that not many people use because i guess the the, the recoil on it but if you have the right attachment and you kind of learn how to control the recoil a little bit you will still like shoot people easily like you guys have been watching me play like so far like you know you can see like i hit a lot of shots i barely miss um and you do get that the recoil is a little bit tough sometimes but you learn how to use it and abuse it gonna run to the back because i'm a maniac maniac on the flow I has no idea what's coming to him and i'm probably gonna take right after um they should have small low there they are there they are damn i'm not gonna make any more than that dude i wanted to get like a 100 kill game here but i don't think that's gonna happen uh, i'm gonna have to give this up last second on the flow let me get 80 uh 79 kills man so close to 80 i low-key could have got 100 if they got more time here look at this okay nice little beans. you see he's using i believe he's definitely not using the task force they use the rifle um a lot easier to control the recoil with this one but it's i mean the 74 is just a good gun in general the task force is what so we makes out here. it top s tier all right guys so i joined a checkmate mid game here we're down by 90 points not exactly what we want but if you guys know this is a very uh heavy ar map a tip i can give you guys is if you're running a sub on this map try to control the planes more um so you can there's a lot of routes you can take from the plane there's gonna be two guys right here oh my god so many of them nice little sim shot there i love sim shot in the game beam this guy come back no, he's a one shot. Oh. A nice little reload session. Shout out. I love it. Oh my god, look at that. So the funny thing is the MP5 was actually the best SMG in the game. And then it received that little nerf with damage range and something else. I think it gave it a little bit more recoil. And that's where the 74U uh, pretty much took over. Now the 74U was still good, but it wasn't the best. And once they got this like this bubble with the nerf on the mp5 you know it became the best the best smg and this thing is a freaking beast i think task force is so helpful man and it really does help um ars are really dominant as you know oh my god i'm freaking frying right now and it's funny because we're at a sort of a standpoint right now where the mp5 is like super good but the 74u just feels slightly better and it's like, well, people are just using the 74U for that, for that reason. But 
It's just the little, it's the little edges that you know make a difference sometimes. Like in, with these guns. Aha! You didn't expect me to do that, did you? you didn't expect me to do this either, huh? Pop the war machine. We're gonna get. We're gonna make it mix it. Mix it, mix it. Get to mix it. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> I'm just blowing them all up, man. Now, I don't know if you guys have been watching scrims or anything really competitive. I do stream from time to time, and I've been, you know, showing the gameplay a bit. But ARs right now are kind of basically king. ARs are really dominant. Um, you see one to two subs on every map. Um, at some maps, there's like, I think two maps you see two, but every other map you basically see one. And it's just because ARs are just a do-it-all gun. They can beam, they have the damage, they're good up close. And the 74U seems to be the only, like, actual consistent sub that, you know, you even could gun, gun AR in the range. Good kill, good kill. Another one here, another one here. I think you, oh, what? You never died. Oh, I thought you were going to kill me, brother. So that's why, you know, I'm able to kind of beam. But, like, this gun kills very fast, shoots very fast. Um, has the range to gun all these ARs, you know, it's an effective, it's an effective class if you are using this class I mean you can still get away with using the other barrels and some other attachments on a 74 you because it's a good gun Like that little little angle right there. It's a good gun still like don't get me wrong The gun's still very good without the task force But if you want to play against the best beat the best and have a and like even against other ARs Like dude having this makes it so much better like the task force like, dude, pro players were thinking about banning the task force. Yes, like, this is something pro players were thinking about banning. That's how bad, and that's how much better it makes the 74U. They wanted to ban it. Like, that's actually unbelievable to think about. Nice little Kobe there, two-piece. This guy's a new. I'm gonna kill him. This guy's back steps. He's gonna peek three, two, one. No, he's actually getting three different kills. That's fine. It's actually better for me because I get to get to the back of their base. I'll pop armor place real quick. He's gonna jump in three, two, one. He's actually not gonna jump in because my teammates kill him all. Oh no, behind us, behind us, behind us, go win. I'm gonna steal your kill for going for assassination, brother. Yeah, you thought you were making a play. Oh, yeah, you thought you were making a play. Ooh, they should hit me. No, 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 stay up, stay up. No, they're gonna win after we made a crazy comeback. We have one good push here, man. Oh, get into the hill. Oh, God. To the left, to the left. No, you're not even looking at the hill. What am I playing with? Oh, God. 64 and 21, but we choked. We choked. We could have brought that back. Could have won that. All right, guys, this goes without saying. Like I said, make sure to leave a like in the video. Don't forget to subscribe in the channel. Leave down in the comments below if you got this far. What do you prefer, MP5 or 74U? Or, I mean, any other submachine gun. Obviously, there's multiple. I think those are the two best. But, hey, if you have another favorite, go ahead and put it in the comments below. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Love you. See you tomorrow, I guess. I will, right? Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs>